Hey everyone, welcome to Brainstorm Sessions Part 3. Uh, this should be a, a pretty fun one. Once again, we're going to jump right in this thing and uh, and get you guys some information. How are you guys doing? Uh, Brian, let's start with you and see uh, how your subscribers are going. I mean, what what uh, what's going on in the world of Black Seed Originals? Man, it's... Uh... I, I hate to report it's been terrible this week. I do have one subscriber, so it is a gain. Um, as you can see, I'm still in my LST Lone Star Throwdown Crunch. It's uh, We're like two weeks out, so i got to have this truck ready. So I've been filming, but I haven't been editing. So it's completely my fault. And, and one of my hang-ups on the editing piece is I'm working through something. Like, I don't know if you can see it uh, somewhere. Those wrapped headers, that video is about to drop, but the whole process takes like, you know, a couple hours and and uh, trimming all of that down. So I, I think from the video uh, to bump my number piece, I need to uh, kind of reel that back in, get my storyboard, but we, we can talk about that in a second. Numbers, one subscriber, 5,700 views. Um, did not upload a video this week, and uh, in Instagram still giving me issues. Like it has me capped. I can't review any new people, anything like that. Um, we we can probably get Narx's numbers if you want, and then we can go over our, our issues and how I think we're going to handle that Instagram issue going forward. Okay, that sounds good. Let me go ahead and pop Narx up here. Yeah, and uh, I have an idea with Brian. Maybe I can run up and maybe help cut some of that video down or something like that. Uh, we'll get together after this and figure something out. Because like as you're coming up to Lone Star, dude, you've got to be dropping those videos. But the problem is you've yeah. also got to be doing the work on the truck. So so that's definitely uh, definitely hard. So we'll figure something out. Um, uh, I'm up 30 subs this week. I had a pretty decent week. The Instagram uh, you know, follow, comment, like process uh, has been working. I just haven't been working in as hard. Uh, we've done a ton of live. Uh, I was looking at when Brian said he hadn't dropped a video. It made me realize that I had not dropped a video. I've only done, I've done four live feeds since last Tuesday. Uh, didn't drop a video last uh, Friday night. No, 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 I did. I dropped our brainstorm session, which is a new segment for me. So you know, not a whole lot of followers of car stuff end up, you know, watching and uh, subscribing because of that yet, because I'm not in that rotation with the algorithm. Um, so, yeah, three live feeds and the the brainstorm sessions, not a good week for downloads, but I'm kind of with Brian. I've, I've been gathering a bunch of stuff. Uh, should drop several this next week. Have a big one going tonight. Um, up 62 followers on Instagram. So, again, I'm way off there. So. Uh, I'm excited to talk about the uh, the segment here in a minute about the tags, titles, descriptions, and thumbnails. Though, <laughs> so let's go ahead to you. Nice. Yeah. So uh, let me pull up my numbers here real quick. Yeah, you've been a lot more active on Instagram this week. It's been great to see it, dude. Yeah, yeah. I've been playing around with uh, this cage and uh, this 2021 Turbo S, helping one of my buddies out. But um, yeah, that's. I've had something to post, you know, I'm actually doing yeah. something besides sitting here and helping other people and, and creating stuff. So it's been nice. So I've gone up, uh, I haven't, it was weird cause I've been posting stuff on Instagram, but I haven't been taking time to reply to people and, and, you know, friend request any of that stuff, but I've gone up five on Instagram, seven on Facebook, YouTube. I went up 43. Dude, that's awesome. So that was a, that's been a, that was a pretty big week. That's and, awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and keep going with some of the, my my silly stuff and and get more of my personality into the videos instead of me being such a stiff. So I yep. think that'll help. Yeah. So yeah you want you want to move on to uh, your thumbnail stuff and. Uh, yeah. So uh, and I post in this uh, Facebook group that we're in that is automotive related. Um, my struggles with this. So essentially, you know, we we crested 500 uploads uh, last Friday night on the live feed. So my mentality at 500 is how do I take the previous 500 videos and make them perform better while also, you know, increasing my uh, editing ability, my shooting, all that kind of stuff, right? 
So I have been going back through, I found um, the analytics for our top performing playlist is our project LC, the LS swap Toyota Land Cruiser. So I started going back through at video one in that playlist and redoing the thumbnails, redoing the descriptions, redoing the title and redoing the tags. My thought process when I was that early on, right? Cause that started in 2017. So, I mean, we were just a very small channel, probably 50 or 70 subscribers, um, was that my, my whole thought process was at people that are following us will be following, they'll know what Project LC is, right? I wasn't thinking about the folks that those videos would bring in, which is something that everybody really needs to think about. Like what happens if you drop a video and somebody just happens to type, you know, LS swap FJ62, which is the body style of the Land Cruiser, right? Well, they may end up, your tags with their search history may end up putting them at like video 27 in that series, right? If they haven't watched from the very beginning, they don't know any of the other stuff. So some of the titles, like, I, I, let me, I wanna pull up this picture here because it's hilarious. The, the actual description is what, it frustrated me at myself. Uh, so the title was, hang on, it's open in here. The title was Tell Lights for Project LC, exclamation point, finally. That, that's literally the title, okay. Two things, nobody knows who Project LC is. Nobody cares about the tail lights, right? And then on the description, all it says was excited to have this done. Now, scroll down <laughs> to the tags. It's like LS swap, you know, in, in its own tag, Toyota Land Cruiser in its own tag. So one thing I've really been thinking about is how, um, like as a small channel, how will you stand out in tags, right? Because like Toyota, the YouTube channel of Toyota Motor Company will have, will own Toyota Land Cruiser, right? So I've been putting in like budget LS swap Toyota Land Cruiser as one solid tag where in the beginning, I, I never thought about that. Like I thought, okay, LS swap, I'll put that in. That'll pull up on something. But if you are going, like if you're searching for LS swap, it's not going to pull up a channel that has a hundred subscribers, right? It's gonna pull up somebody that had like Cletus McFarlane. I mean, it's gonna pull up his channel stuff. It's gonna pull up everybody else that's done an LS swap that has a hundred thousand or more subscribers because those are the videos that get view numbers. Those are the videos that get the length of term. So as a small channel, my theory maximize if somebody typed in budget ls swap toyota land cruiser like i have that tag but does the large channel have that tag probably not so maybe i'll get to be fifth in the lineup well then i've got to worry about my thumbnail compared to theirs okay so my thumbnails are getting better now i've taken you know better coloring uh, i haven't taken any more shots because i don't have the truck here anymore which would be easier if you still had the vehicle so I'm taking the shots that I had and I'm manipulating them, making them better. I'm putting a better coloring um, on that. So now we've got, you know, tags and thumbnail is better. The title, that picture is a perfect example of the crappiest title you could ever have. It doesn't tell anything about the car. So I've begun, you know, like I'll say, like, show me the light or find, you know, tell light repair you know, budget LS swap 1990 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ62 as my title. It's probably too long, but I want to hit as much as I could within the title and give yeah, everybody that's what how you bring people in to watch that. I mean, they're going to want to know how to fix it. They're not going to know about the project you're doing, but they're going to yep. know, you know, hey, yeah, I have one of those and I need to fix the taillights. So, yeah, yeah, kind of simplifying your descriptions and all that stuff. That's perfect. Yes, great advice. Yeah. And then I watched a, another video about how uh, YouTube or Google physically you like sees the words that are coming out of your mouth. Um, and they put, you know, so I've been trying, I've been going back through and watching the first minute or two minutes of those videos and almost trying to verbatim 
type out what I'm saying. Uh, so that way it's, you know, title of tail lights, you know, hey, we're working on the tail lights today for the Land Cruiser, you know, Project Elsie, the night, the budget LS swapped 1990 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ62. So it's just hammering all of that into people's head. So now we have the title is better. And then I go into the description and I'm physically, I have a, a block of description that I put in, in every one of them, but then I'm basically recapping the video, which if it's 10 minutes, I've got to watch at least six or seven minutes of it to get the idea of what the video is. So it's description of the video, my, you know, one I'm putting in every single project oh, yeah. video. Yep. And then the tags are better. So I'm, I'm interested, interested to see in the next month what all of this work is doing. But y'all, I've got, I bet I've, I don't know, it's on average 40 minutes per video that I'm doing this with. And there's 40 videos in that playlist. So do the math, you know, it's oh, yeah. hours of work I'll have at the end of this because you can't shortcut it. There's so no way to do all that in the beginning. Do, do it when it's fresh. You know, like, like late's got these videos. He doesn't need to shortcut this stuff. Cause like at the end, like if you could drop all this LST stuff, the LST crunch for the truck and then be at the show and drop in those. I mean, dude, who knows? Maybe 10 people will watch 30 videos. Who knows? Yeah. That's, and that's, that's why I'm betting on for the LST, right? Is because my channel, I've been doing a lot of building stuff, but I think a large portion of the people want to see that. Um, I think they want to see us driving, driving the cars, hitting the shows, that type of thing, which we're going to get into. Um, and my build up now, my path, path LSD is uh, start to this, and then I'll bring on more subscribers when I'm dropping stuff. I'm not going to give my full strategy out in case some other folks are seeing this. I will after LST, but but I have kind of my own set strategy, what's going to happen leading up to it during LST and then after LST. So so I kind of got that plan in place. This is a great place to discuss it, but uh, I'm going to do it and then we'll see what that bears and we'll bring it back to this channel. It, if it works, hell, it may it may just crash and burn, right? But uh, Well, and that's the good thing uh, about this. We're being as open as possible about what, what we're doing. Yes. So yeah. if it works, you, you've proven it works instead of like, like a lot of the stuff is right now for us is theory, you know, like the Instagram formula. Yeah. I mean, we know it works. It's just a hustle. And if you don't have the time, it's hard to do that. So, you, you yeah. know, I, w I will say this and, and going to a show because I'm, I'm expecting it to give me as many subscribers as Dino's did when, when I started my channel and, you know, I pulled most of 200 people from there starting from zero and it's kind of the same deal, but I'll, I'll tell you one of the, and, and you guys may help me with this. One of my things is um, getting in touch with people that are, that are very much small channels like us, um, you know, same way we met Johnny Clyde eats, right. Uh, you know, we're meeting him through other YouTubers and stuff. I like his stuff. He likes ours, but I, I kind of want to target that C10 OBS, um, audience that's going to like my stuff going into LST and get to know some of those folks before I go. But one of my challenges is when I go out and I search, you know, bag C10, air ride C10, that type of thing, YouTube gives me 20 suggestions. And I'm trying to get deeper in that to, to hit those guys who are active that may only have 20 videos up or may, um, you know, they're, they're active watching my stuff. Any suggestions yeah. there to help yeah. me, you know, identify those? Because it feels like every time I go in, um, bag C10, air ride C10, I, I pull up the same stuff and I already follow all those guys. And I'm doing a search real quick because I want to see if you can filter it by upload date. Well, that, that's how Narcs and, and I met. Of that, I'm... Sorry, yeah, that's, go ahead. That's how Narcs and I met. That was... I was looking up Rocky Mountain Race Week videos, and he was one of the few that actually was posting, hey, I'm getting ready for Rocky Mountain Race Week. So I reached out right. to him, hey, I'm going to be there too. Let's hook up and collab or, you know, laugh at each other, whatever it is, you know, get together and, and 
you know, figure out, you know, are we compatible? Can we, can we hang out? Am I a jerk? Is he, if, you know, you don't know, but right. most people with channel in a, in a car community are, are pretty cool to get with. So, you know, yeah, I definitely suggest doing that. You will find somebody that will probably be in square number four if you find the right person, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's exactly right. right. Uh, so are you, are you, um, are you, do you have vid IQ one? Um, I don't. Alex, uh, okay. So if you have vid IQ, um, it will give you the number of subscribers that person has next to their channel name. Okay. Um, it, when you search, because you're, you're looking for folks that are posting right now, like right now about right. bags because that's what they're building. So you don't want like the yep. large view count guy. You want the guy that posted. I mean, literally, here's one that posted uh, 36 minutes ago. It's got nine views, but he's got one subscriber. Right. So like with vidIQ, it tells you how many subscribers they have. But I mean, okay. here's a guy named, named Jim Davies that has he posted 16 hours ago. And it's bagged C10 in progress, right? That has 250 subscribers. That's a dude that probably puts out some content, right? Okay. And I, I sorted that. Um, whenever you do a search, you know, and you pull up your thing, it'll say filter there on the top left. And hold you, on, hold on. Do you have it up right now? Can you share your screen and we'll we'll show oh, you? Yeah. It's, and Brian as he's doing it. Is this a free service or a paid service? Because my only yeah. fans. Money is huge, right? I can't cut into that to, to pay for any the, the money. You, the money you send to OnlyFans. yeah, the money I spend on OnlyFans, man. Yeah. All right, here, hang on. Yeah, okay. All right, so if you go like, here's the right. So bagged C10, okay, top. Y'all see that? Because yep. I can't see what you're seeing, right? So then you got filter right here. Okay. okay. And then scroll down here. And this is, I mean, it's the number two video. So like this is, you know, square by C10 being bagged at Twisted Garage. And then you've okay. got like UZ Customs. I don't know if they've got it turned off, but like Dynaco Blue has one. And they've got 13,000 subscribers. And then here's you, Oh, dude. look at there. Hey, right there. So, I mean, you're, you're fifth on the page for uploads. You know, so like if people, but look at that, dude, that's a week ago. You're fifth with a week ago on bag C10s. Wow. So let's look at Lone Star. You think it, uh, let's do Lone LST Star. 20. Yeah. Lone Star throwdown or LST 2021. I think that's what people will be searching for. Okay. So by see, I, I've been pumping, I've been pumping that tag for two months. Yep. So like, I mean, they got a throwdown promo, obviously grinder TVs, gigantic, whoever yep. this is. Yep. They also uh, have an app. Grinder TV does. Yeah. Dang. Dating app, I think, for men. Men. men <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. C C10 truck <laughs> stuff. Uh, so I mean, you know, here's somebody. Uh, yeah. Channel update. Truck builds. Fifty nine subs. So, all right. So so how come none of my twenty videos that are tagged that fall there when somebody with sixty nine subs does right and and that's what I'm trying to get to is how, how do I get mine positioned up higher? Do you have LST 2021 in your title? Uh, maybe that's... Uh, see what theirs is? Yeah. LST 2021, it's in their title. Did you so have the tag it. down there? That's right. You have to have your title, your tags in your title. That's probably... Okay, I'm going to go re -tie. Okay. I'm going to go... All right, so if I put in... If I take out the space between LST 2021... I mean, dude, you pop up third. Okay, so I need to go in and add the the space, space. as well. Look, there's there's yeah, my opening I mean, parts. Yeah. So you're you're showing yes. up. It's just all there's in the Dinos. Way. Yeah. So you're showing up. It's just in the way. I mean, damn, dude, you're all over here. So you need to look at your yes, then because like you don't have a you yours must not have a space. Put them both in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me put them both. Hey, for curiosity, put in a, a get down, G I T D O W N 2021. All one word, maybe all one word. 
Yeah, so I'll have to kind of uh, hit my tags two different ways. I was just wondering if uh, any of my stuff pulls up because I'm future tagging, right? So I'm tagging stuff. I want to be the first one out there on tags, but apparently, uh, yeah, so, so like the, the foot spaces in between. Your yeah. tag and title have to be. You have to have that tag in your title. Okay. Those jive together. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, the IQ is just an extension for your browser, so you can get it for free, and it'll pop these little cool things up next to it. That's yeah, yeah. Between TubeBuddy and VidIQ, the amount of information you can get is almost overwhelming. <laughs> so, but interesting. The, I'll add that. The, the whole reason I was talking about VidIQ for that was that the uh, was because of the subscriber count. Because there's a lot of times like where we we've had the discussion of going in and you know if you're reaching out to a bunch of channels, uh, th you know, using the Instagram formula on YouTube and the comments on videos it's really hard because what's the point in sending something to something to some like commenting on somebody's right. post or replying to their comment. If they have no subscribers, there's no point in you doing that because right. the whole that is to get some of that back, you know? So we're trying to or, bring their folks over. Yeah. Or if it's someone like movies with a million one subs, it's, yeah. he's not going to respond to me and stuff, but, but guys that are doing stuff like I'm doing, and that are a channel my size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no idea what weld, weld up that internet. <laughs> video goes over. That's the future tagging, which I'm doing, seeing that help. Did, did everything just lock up on us here? For a yeah. second. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, future tagging and, um, and, and reaching out to those People yeah. who have show or people my, through uh, Facebook is my next thing that's going to hit the show because my Instagram, I have a shadow ban or something. I think I'm going to have to start a backup page going following 7,500 people, which is crazy. Um, so I'm going to have to start on that. Pretty soon. I mean, I think that would, you know, do like a do Brian at Black Seed Originals and just roll on. Tell I'm also going to do a, uh, so, so are you doing a Facebook, you have a Facebook business page for narcoleptics, right? Yeah. That's one thing I don't have. So I need to, I think I'll set that up. So I'm not just spamming my, my family and friends that are not interested in this stuff and, and yeah. try to bring folks over yeah. to there as well. So here's what I have been doing this week as well on, uh, for Instagram is I have the video that drops tonight. Uh, I took the eight minutes of, I think it's eight minutes and 30 seconds. And I cut it to like two minutes as almost like a commercial. Basically it's like, I think it's like two minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, it's almost like a commercial for what is going to happen tonight. So, and I loaded the shortened version directly to Facebook to my narcoleptic page and I shared it and it had, I think it has a thousand views on it right now. Okay. Yeah, definitely so, utilize the Facebook business page. That's I have my destroyer 1320 on Facebook as mine. Yeah. And the people who are on there want to see what's on there. So like you said, yeah. I actually created a separate Facebook account completely for all my car stuff. And then I have a family account. So, yeah. Hmm. So okay. this, this video has a, has a reach of over 4,000 people, right? Uh, has 19 shares. I, I can't see how many views it has. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to get the analytics from uh, from Facebook on views. Yeah, they yeah. don't really care about views. No, no. So that's the you know that's the other hard part about doing Facebook is like, and then I've I've taken that and I've shared it everywhere to 18 groups, and then I drop the YouTube link in the comments. You know, hey be over here Tuesday night, you know? So I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Facebook has grown. That's was the main one I've used. That's grown me um, probably bigger than anything else I've done yeah. uh, between like the groups, like you're saying Rocky mountain race week or yeah. whatever. I, I went on one that was for Barrett Jackson, which is coming up here next month for me. 
and and that's where I got a lot of response, uh, no. especially for events. Events, you can grab views. I mean, it is is it's a sack full of views. All you have to do is go to the event, take video of it, upload the video, and make it halfway entertaining. Because especially right now in the climate we have, as we know, most people are in their house, or if they're not no. in their house, then they're guys who are out, you know, camping with the family and getting away from everybody. But people still get bored and sit around. You know, they're all working remote. There's going to be time where, you know, you don't have much going on at work and you're going to pop up something on YouTube. And that's where yes. we're going to come in and say, hey, you didn't have to fly to Scottsdale, Arizona to watch it. I'll do it yeah. for you. Here well, you, well you, you you can't fly to Scottsdale, Arizona. Right. Exactly. You, I mean, like the, your family's like, you're not going to get COVID, you know, so you can't go. Yeah. So that's, the, that's the bit, you know, that's the other side of that stuff, too. And I, I think I, I would like to see uh, how live streams would uh, work with Late's channel. I, I, I'd like to like if if you could get, you know, we've talked about a couple of us in the shop, like especially as we get close to Lone Star, maybe like go live one night while we're in the shop and just put the camera up. You know, I've been doing that a little bit and it's it's helped. I think I did a little too much of it the last couple of days, but one I think I'm going to start if I'm in the shop by myself. Friday night after my live feed, I think I'll just go ahead and keep doing that because it's it's been a good good uh, access point for people to ask questions and things like that. So, well, yeah, and you can explain where you're at in the build and hey, I'm going to go weld this or I'm going to go cut this or I'm going to you know yeah. what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. they get to, and there's there's some people who just love to watch people work. I mean, yeah. they don't have a shop. I don't have a shop. I have a cluttered garage. So. I sure wish I had a, a shop. <laughs> you, you, you think that's cluttered? You my garage. <laughs> <laughs> we may oh, need yeah. a uh, we may need a shop night very soon since LST is uh, I don't know eleven days. Yeah, away. yeah, yeah you, you even <laughs> still not on the ground, dude. That's crazy. I'm in. We Let's fire the engine. <laughs> we got to do that live. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. That'd be great. Yeah. So the other thing I wanted to go uh, over real quick for you guys, speaking of doing a live with uh, Brian from Black Seed, is how do we do this? How do we even do what we're doing right now? Which this, if I click go live, we would actually be live doing the show. Yeah. Uh, so I'm using something, let me pull this up, called StreamYard. This is, uh, there's a free version and there's a paid version. The, it's very, very simple to use. Uh, all you do is go broadcast, create broadcast, and then I can select Facebook, uh, YouTube. You can add TikTok. You can add Instagram. You can add whatever other streaming platform you want. You just click that button. So if I click here, click here, I'll make a title, uh, test, uh, he, he, whatever that is, and I can click customized for each. So I can make each one a separate. So if I wanted to say something different on Facebook, I could make that different. Click create broadcast. And it pulls up the broadcast and I can send the link so I can enter the broadcast studio, but I don't want to do that because I'll end up, I think, doing two. Well, I guess I can because I'm not actually streaming it. So here's what it looks like. I have backgrounds already loaded on mine, but you can add yourself to the stream. And now I'm actually on two streams at once, which is killing my computer. <laughs> <laughs> but then down here, you can hit invite. And there is the code I could use to bring people on. It is really that simple. Now, knowing what to say or having your stuff together before you go live is the real trick. Because as you know, Narks, there's a whole lot to it. And you can add intros, yep. as you've seen with mine and yours. You can add all kinds of cool stuff. I'm trying to learn how to do, because you can do a green screen in the background. You hang a green cloth behind you and you can put up whatever picture you want on that and it will block out everything but you in that photo. I'm trying to figure out how to make those animated. So there literally is a drag strip live going behind me as I'm talking. And I know I can do it. There's a, a couple of different things I have to do to make it happen. But um, yeah, for people who want to do live, check out StreamYard. It's super easy. Mm -hmm. uh, Super free. I mean, can't go better than free. Yeah. But uh, just, you know, start it out, do a test live and, and, you know, see what you think. What's up, buddy? Oh, this is a green screen right here. This truck is actually a million pieces. 
<laughs> that's funny. That's old picture, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> and the so, thing about StreamYard too is like uh, the the free version is good, but I mean they have a paid version and it's even better. It allows you like a lot of times you pay for something and it's just to get that one extra thing. Well, like with StreamYard, you get a ton of extra stuff with it. So highly yeah. recommended. Yeah, it's definitely uh, simple to use. And yeah. uh, anybody who's looking to do it, just get it and try. Like I said, do a test live yeah. stream. I don't matter yeah. if you're a small channel, whatever. Turn it on. Figure it out. Learn how to do uh, like this. Learn how to, you know, change how your screen's set up, mm -hmm. how to put in, you know, all that stuff. Do that with buddies. Test it out before you go live. Because as you know, it can be tricky. And the <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and the thing with you know like clicking not clicking share sound before you share your screen i mean there's simple things that you oh, yeah. find out I've done that I, I have to <laughs> you know you got to cut your teeth somewhere but if anybody yeah. has questions that's watching this leave it down in the comments for us and we'll help with whatever you need i'll even jump on a stream yard call with you and we can mm -hmm. share screens and i can show you how to use it if, if you need help i mean i know all yeah. of us are, are willing to help but um I think that's uh, we're at thirty-one minutes here, boys. That was uh, well. Hey, hey, that. now before we go, let's let's give you some. Uh, let's I, I don't know. Let's promote Destroyer a little bit with the uh, the side hustle here of the video uh, or the drop-ins or intros or outros or whatever. Sh show them what you did for Johnny Clyde because that's really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you do need uh, any of that stuff, let me know. Let's see. Oh, I have one that says video file now. They must have just popped that. Let me see if this works. Let's see if this works here, guys. Oh, for the share screen? Yeah, it's great, dude. Uh, yeah, here's Johnny's intro. Let's see if that does. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, so I, I made that for him today, and then I made him an outro yeah. and gave him a little subscribe button that drops in. And yeah, you guys need any of that help? My destroyer thirteen twenty at gmail dot com. I'll be happy to uh, to help you out. And as uh, as Narks found out, it doesn't take me long if I'm by the computer. Right. Hey, and uh, I, I will say this: um, my goal has changed for video quantity. Like, I want to do a collaboration a week uh, within the videos. So whether that be somebody coming by the house or some, you know, like. Last week, uh, the video that drops tonight is a collab with Send It Race Media. And then uh, obviously going to have some collaborative videos here with Late pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> working on the C10 truck. And then Johnny Clyde. Dude, here's what we need to have Johnny Clyde in your shop helping us wrench or something. Or he just has to, like, we'll cut pizza up in really small slices and he just eats pizza in the background all night. Oh, have him sitting, so, like, on the corner of the cab just sitting there eating while you guys are wel welding and all What's kinds of stuff and he's just hanging out <laughs> so i told i told narcs he needs to be eating a bowl of cereal in the truck while he's launching it just spilling <laughs> shit everywhere it's all over yeah, yeah. That's a great idea <laughs> tacos what i mean dude we need to like go crazy with it it's I, be a lot of fun yeah right <laughs> so. So well, cool, guys. I got to get rolling here. I got to jump back on this thing. I got to fish yep. wires and do all kinds of fun yep, We're stuff. headed to dinner. I appreciate okay. everybody who watched this. If you have any questions, please let us know. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.